BCPS families, we are excited to share with you a pre-K math lesson about making equal sets from a given group of objects. We will practice making equal sets given four, six, eight, and 10 objects from your home. We will end today's lesson with some enrichment ideas to extend your learning. Let's get started. Hello, Pre-K families and ABC families who might be watching today. My name is Barbie Pullman, and I'm a resource teacher with the Office of Early Childhood. I work with the Aliza Brandwine Center, also called ABC. We travel to several area Title I schools, and we teach caregiver child school readiness classes for children ages 0 to 4. If you'd like to learn more about our program, you can visit the BCPS website and click on Office of Early Childhood. Before we begin our pre-K math lesson today, we need to warm up our brains with a Brain Smart Start. The Brain Smart Start has four components. The first component is called Unite. So to unite us all today, we're going to sing the welcome song that I sing with my ABC students. My older daughter is going to come and help us. We start by clapping our hands. Welcome, welcome everyone. We're glad you're here. Let's have some fun. Can you clap your hands like so? Then bend down and touch your toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. We're glad you're here. Let's have some fun. You did it. The second step in the Brain Smart Start is called Disengage Stress. It's a time for you to calm your body. We're going to do a breathing technique today called pretzel breathing. I work with young students, so when we do pretzel breathing, we take our arms and we cross them over our chest as we inhale. My daughter will show you the way that older children do the pretzel breathing technique. Are you ready? We're gonna start by breathing in through our nose and we'll cross our arms over our chest. Here we go. Again, in through your nose. One more breath. Breathe in through your nose. And exhale. You did it. The third step in our Brain Smart Start is called Connect. It's where we make a connection with someone. I have a teddy bear here today because he's going to be the star of our rhyme. The rhyme goes like this. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two steps, tickle under there. I'm gonna put Mr. Bear down for a moment so I can show you how we'd act out the rhyme with my younger daughter. Okay, Mr. Bear, let me set you down. Now's the time to call over a family member if you're sitting by yourself, okay? We're gonna take our hand and hold it out. And I'm going to take my finger and pretend to be the teddy bear making circles in my daughter's hands. Ready? Like this. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two steps, tickle under there. <laughs> now it's your turn to try. Hold out your hand and your family member will take his or her finger and trace in your palm. Ready? Let's do it. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two step, tinkle under there. That's a silly one, isn't it? The fourth step in our Brain Smart Start is called commit. It's where we make a promise of how we will do our best work today. I promise to use my gentle hands as I handle all the materials today. Show us your gentle hands. You've got it. Let's get started on our lesson. Read our I can statement along with me. I can make equal sets from a given group of objects. I know sets are groups of objects, like in the picture here. We have two sets of red pebbles. They look like they have the same amount in each pile. That's what equal must be. Equal means the same. Sets are equal if each group has the same amount. Here are two pictures showing sets of objects that are not equal. In the picture on the left, we see one set of red pebbles looks tall. This set has more than the other set. 
In the picture on the right, we see this set of red pebbles looks short and small. This set has fewer red pebbles than the other set. If you were playing with this small set of red pebbles, you'd probably ask your friend to share some with you to make the sets equal. Hi boys and girls, I'm here with my friends today and we're playing a game. This is dog and this is bear. We're pretending to go on a picnic. Would you like to come with us on our picnic? Great. I brought along some placemats. Here's a red one for you, dog, and a blue one for you, bear. Now, dog and bear told me that they're very hungry. I have some pretend snacks with me today. Look at what I have. These are blocks, but today we'll pretend like these are crackers to feed to our friends. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and give you some crackers to eat. Here you go, dog. And here you go, bear. How does that look? Great? All right, what's going on? I only have one cracker. This is not fair. Well, what, what, what do you mean, dog? I mean, look over here at bear. He has way more crackers than me. Oh. Bear, will you do us a favor? Will you count and see how many crackers you have? Okay, I've got one, two, three crackers today. Okay, so you have three, and dog, you have just one. They're not equal. Oh, I think you're right, dog. Dog just told us a really important math word. He said the groups of crackers are not equal. Groups are equal when each set has the same number of items. Oh no, what should we do? Did you say I should give some crackers to dog? Okay, Bear, I'm gonna give some of these over here to dog, try to make our sets equal. How does that look? Oh, this is great. Now I have one, two, three crackers to eat. What about you, Bear? Are you okay now too? Um, excuse me. I only have one cracker to eat. It's still not equal. Uh-oh, you're right. Our sets are still not equal. How many crackers should I give to Bear to make the sets equal? Did you say I should give him one? Let me try and see if that works. Here you go. Dog, will you count? How many crackers do you have? I have one, two, two crackers. What about you, Bear? How many do you have? Let's see. One, two. I've got two crackers. Oh, dog has two and Bear has two. Those numbers are the same. It sounds like our sets are equal. We have the same number of crackers in each group. Well, go ahead then. Eat up your crackers. Yum, 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 yum. Hi, boys and girls. Dog and Bear are taking a rest right now. That gives us a few moments to talk about the problem that they were having. Dog and Bear were unhappy because their sets of crackers were not equal. They were not the same. Groups are equal when each group has the same number of items. Today, I'll teach you how to divide a set of objects into two groups to make them equal. I'll start by getting out my pretend crackers again. I'm going to check how many are in my set. Ready? One, two, three, four. I think there are four in my set. Good counters always double check, so I'll count again. One, two, three, four. I have four crackers. Notice I still have out my two placemats, our red placemat and our blue placemat. These will be the two groups. To divide this set of four crackers into two equal groups, I need to alternate placing one cracker on each mat until there are none left. Watch, one for you and one for you. One for you and one for you. Now it's time to check to make sure this group has the same number of items as this group. It's easy to see looking at this that there are probably two. Let's count to make sure. One, 
two. I have two in this group. Let's check this one. One, two. There are two in this group as well. These groups are equal because they have the same number of items in each group. If I didn't have these pretend crackers here with me, I could also draw a picture to make the equal groups. I'm going to get out my paper and I'll use a marker to show you what to do. I'll start by drawing a line down the middle of my paper. This will separate my paper into two groups. Now, I'm going to draw circles to represent the crackers. I'm going to draw four of them, but as I draw them, I'm going to place one on each side, alternating turns. Watch how I do it. One here, and two here. Three here, and four here. It's a good idea to double check that I really did draw four. Ready? One, two, three, four. I drew four. Now let's check how many are in each group. In this group, I see one, two. I'll write the number two to help me remember. Let's check this group. Ready? One, two. Two again, so I'll write it here. I could write this equation. Two is the same as two. My sets are equal. Have you ever heard of tally marks before? Tally marks look something like this. You can solve this problem by using tally marks as well. Again, we'll divide our paper into two groups. Next, we will draw four tally marks, alternating which side we put them on. Watch how I do it. Ready? One here, two here, three here, four here. Now, let's make sure that we know how many are on this side. It looks like an 11, doesn't it? But really, they want us to count how many lines are here. One, two. I have two on this side. How about this one? One, two. Again, we can say two is the same as two. Our groups are equal. Now we will try making equal sets together. Use the next few minutes to find two stuffed animals or action figures. Then count out 10 small objects to use for our sets. You might bring over 10 blocks, 10 cars, or 10 pieces of snack food like cereal or crackers. If you can't find 10 items to use, grab a paper and pencil. You can draw the sets with us. I'll play some music now while you gather your materials.
and girls, I hope you're ready to play the picnic game with me today. You will need two stuffed animals or action figures and 10 small objects. They can be toys, such as blocks, or they could be snack food items as well. If you don't have 10 items, you can get out a piece of paper and a pencil. I'll also show you how to play the game by drawing a picture. In our game today, our stuffed animals are going on a picnic. We're going to feed them some snacks, but we need to make sure that we give each animal an equal number of snacks to eat. That means they should each have the same number of items. You ready to play? Okay, here we go. We're going to pack six snacks to bring with us on our picnic today. How many? Six. Go ahead and count out six of your objects. One two, three, four, five, six. Good counters always double check, so go ahead and count again to make sure you counted out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six, do you? Great. Now is the tricky part. We need to figure out how to divide these six items into two equal groups. We're going to do it by alternating placing one item in front of each animal until there are none left. Ready? Let's try it. One for you and one for you. One for you and one for you. One for you and one for you. Now, let's take a look to make sure we did indeed make two equal sets. Start with one of your animals and count out how many items you have. Ready? One, two, three. Good counters always double check, so count again. One, two, three. I have three in my first set. How many do you have? Let's try the other one. Ready? One, two, three. Go ahead and double check. One, two, three. How many did you have in this set? If you said three, you're right. This group has three and this group has three. Those numbers are the same. That means we made two equal sets. Our animals are happy and they're going to gobble up the treats. Yum, 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 yum. Now, if you're working with paper today, I'm going to show you how we can draw a picture to make equal sets as well. Go ahead and get out your paper and your writing instrument. Here's my paper. I'm going to draw a line right down the middle so that I can make my two groups just like I had two placemats for my animals. Now, what was the number that we were working with today? How many snacks did we have in all? Six. We're going to be drawing six objects on our paper. I'm gonna draw circles because those are easy for me. As we draw our six circles, we need to make sure we alternate putting one on each side until we get to six. Ready? Pick up your pencil and try it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. We want to make sure we really did draw six items. So go ahead and double check to make sure you have six. Ready? One, two, three, four, five six. Did you have six? Great work. Now, are our sets equal? We can find out by counting how many are on each side. Let's start with this one. Ready? One, two, three. How many do you have? Three. Great. I'll write the number three so I remember. Go ahead and count the other side. One, two, three. Did you have three again? If you did, you're right. We can say three 
is the same as three. Our sets are equal. You did it. We're ready to play the picnic game again. Take all of your objects and place them in front of you. Your stuffed animals should not have any objects in front of them right now. Are you ready to begin? Great. This time, we'll fill our picnic basket with eight objects. How many? Eight. Go ahead and count out eight objects. This time, I'll count silently in my head. Did you count out eight objects? Let's double check to make sure we're right. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight, do you? Great. Now it's time for us to divide up this set of eight into two groups so that they are equal. We can use the same strategy as before. We will take turns placing one object in front of each stuffed animal until there are no objects left. Ready? Let's try it. One for you and one for you. One for you and one for you. One for you and one for you, one for you, and one for you. Now, we need to check that we made two equal groups. We're going to count how many are in each set. Go ahead and point to your first animal. Let's count out how many objects are in that group. Ready? How many did you have? Let's count it together to double check. Ready? One, two, three, four. You should have four items in your first group. Let's move over to our other animal and we'll count out how many are in this set. How many did you get? Let's count again to double check. Ready? One, two, three, four. If you got four, you're right. Now, are these sets equal? Thumbs up or thumbs down? If you said thumbs up, you're right. The first animal has four objects. The second animal has four objects too. The numbers are the same, so our sets are equal. Here's how we would solve this problem by drawing a picture. We'll get out our paper and we'll draw a line right down the middle. This will divide our paper up into two groups. Now, we're going to draw tally marks this time. To draw a tally mark, I just draw a straight line down. How many tally marks will I need to draw in all? Eight. We had eight objects, so I need to draw eight tally marks. I'm going to alternate placing one on each side until I count up to the number eight. You ready? Do it along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's double check to make sure we drew eight tally marks. Go ahead and count them. Did you draw eight tally marks? If you did, you're right. Now, 
we need to check that we have two equal groups. Go ahead and count how many tally marks you have in your first group. I'll count it with you this time. Ready? One, two, three, four. I'm going to write down the number four so I remember how many are there. Go to your next group. Count out how many tally marks you have in this group. I'll count it with you to double check. Ready? One, two, three, four. Let's write down the number four so we remember. Are these two numbers the same? Yes, they are. Are our sets equal? Absolutely. If we want to, we can even put an equal sign here to show that four is the same as four. We made equal sets. Great work. Now it's time for you to show what you know. You will work on your own without the help of the teacher to divide a set of objects into two equal groups. Your number is 10. Count out 10 objects. Then divide your objects into two equal sets. You can give some objects to each animal so each animal has the same number of objects. Finally, double check your work. Go ahead. How did you do with the number 10? Here's how 10 can be divided into two equal groups. You should have five objects in one group and five objects in the other group. How are you feeling about making equal sets? If this was tricky for you, work with small sets of items, such as two, four, and six. As you become more comfortable, you can increase the number of items. To keep your group separated, draw two circles on a paper or use two paper plates. This will make it easier to compare the number of objects in each set. If you're ready for a challenge, work with larger sets of items above 10. You can also invite another stuffed animal to join you so that you must divide the items into three equal groups. You can continue increasing the number of items and the number of groups as you feel comfortable. Here are some enrichment ideas to continue your learning. Have you seen the toy picnic math activity in your print pathway packet? You will pretend to take two stuffed animals on a picnic. Lay out two napkins and grab your favorite snack food. Choose a number from your number cards in the packet and have fun dividing the food into two equal sets. Then enjoy the snacks. Check out the Making Equal Groups video on Brain Pop Jr. This video will show you new strategies for making equal sets using arrays and skip counting. Find ways to make equal sets during your daily activities. For example, you can help with setting the table and plating snacks so that each person has an equal set of items. Can you think of other times in your daily routine when you might make equal sets? You did it! You made equal sets from a given group of objects. The concept of equal will help you with many math activities as you grow and in your daily routine as well. To end today, we'll say our goodbye chant. Hands up high and hands down low. We're the BCPS family wherever we go.